Hi everyone and welcome back to a new Angular 6 Spring Boot episode. Today we're going to introduce services. Now, services basically are pieces of functionality or pieces of data that we can reuse throughout our components or throughout our application. If we take a look at the Angular website, we'll see this definition. So components shouldn't fetch or save data directly and they certainly shouldn't knowingly present fake data. Now, if you read this and you refer back to what we did uh, with our application, then uh, it's pretty obvious that we are violating this statement over here because our components fetch data themselves using the HTTP client and that's uh, basically not okay. So we should wrap those calls into a service. And also this definition tells us that components should focus on presenting data and then delegate data access and logic to a service. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to remove uh, you know, those dependency on the HTTP client and we're going to use uh, a custom service to retrieve and present data for us. And this has a lot of benefits. First of all, it lets us, you know, write, for example, error, common error handling. It lets us reuse that service throughout our application. It lets us access data in a consistent manner. It puts, for example, all those URLs in a single place and that when something changes, uh, we can easily adapt our API service. We, we can create, for example, interfaces and fake services and then inject those uh, for testing, for example. So there are lots of benefits of using services instead of putting all the logic inside of component. In fact, uh, from my experience, the component should be really, really skinny. So it should be like a very thin layer, you know, uh, and all the logic that it does should be delegated to a service that we can then test and make sure that it functions properly. Uh, now, uh, let's talk a little bit about some service facts. So, Angular services are injectable classes. I mean, we will see that when we create an Angular service, it's a you know, plain old TypeScript class with the annotation at injectable. And that means that we can leverage the Angular dependency resolution and, you know, put them, create them, inject them in our components or in other services. And this is pretty cool because uh, it makes our application uh, a lot easier to compose and we can make them more modular. Now, like I told you before, we use services to share logic between decoupled classes. And each time you write a piece of logic, it should be within a service that you then reuse in other components, you know, um, just to to share that logic. Services should be testable and tested. Uh, I highly empathize this because sometimes when you're testing Angular applications, you know, test testing components can be a little more difficult, but because you have the view and the templates involved, but testing services is pretty, pretty easy. Uh, so I highly recommend that each service that you write, you know, write it in a testable manner, test it and make sure that uh, it works. And finally, one pretty important thing that you need to know about services is that by default, when you're using the CLI, those services are singletons and there are singletons defined at the application root level. So we have one instance of that service shared throughout our application. And that's why you can use services to actually share data because there is just one instance created. So each modification that you make to, I don't know, a service state will be reflected, you know, for all the components. Okay, with this basic uh, service information, we can actually start to refactor the application and put all the HTTP calls inside a common API service. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development courses that will sharpen your programming skills. We are going to create an API service that will be shared by all of our components. So I'm going to go to the app folder and I'm going to create a new subfolder called shared. And in this subfolder, I'm going to add an Angular schematic. I'm going to choose service and I'm going to give it a name. So in my case, um, 
API, you know, or we can use, yeah, API, basically. And we now have an API service TS class and an API service spec class. The spec is used to test our service and we can actually write tests in here and the API service dot TS is our main service. Now, like I told you, it's just a service in Angular is just a simple class with the injectable annotation. So injectable allows us to, you know, basically inject it into other components uh, using leveraging the uh, Angular dependency, inject dependency resolution mechanism. And because, you know, we declared this provided in root, this means that this service is going to be a singleton. So one service per application. Okay, so I have this service. Uh, this service, because it's going to make HTTP calls, needs a dependency on the HTTP client. So we're going to inject HTTP, we're going to inject this client in here, we're going to import it. So this is how s you can compose services with other services. I mean, we have a service, this service has a dependency on HTTP client, and when we use, you know, the dependency injection, this service will be created with all of its dependencies. And that way, we don't have to expose HTTP client, we just, we're just using our service. And we're going to add two methods. For, for example, get all notebooks, and this is going to return an observable of notebooks like this okay we'll just leave the implementation empty for now okay okay and we're going to return I don't know if I can if I can return null I just want you know no, this one is a mistake. Okay. So something without that, mu that much logic. Okay. And we're also going to, you know, send, or we can use post feedback. And we have to receive the feedback. So feedback view model. And this is going to return an observable of any because we are just getting a void, so we don't have to put anything in there. Okay, now so I have my you know dummy methods, uh, okay? So any I just need to wrap it up like this I think observable uh, I don't know exactly why okay cool I don't know the idea again okay so we have these two methods and what we want to do is I want to replace you know this call in the feedback component and then this call in the app component, sorry, was it app component? Okay, so where do I have it? Oh, the notes component, sorry. Okay, and this code in the notes component, I want to delegate all this code to my service and then to reuse this, this service across all my applications. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make these URLs constants so private const URL actually I'm going to um, it's going to be this URL uh, sorry not const Okay, and 
uh, send feedback URL and we're going to copy that link from the feedback component so I'm going to copy this right here in my API service and to make things even even better I can actually define a private base URL and this base URL is going to be HTTP localhost 8080-API so I can reuse it and what I can write in here instead of this is I can use this stick annotation I can say uh, I want to use the base URL I think it's the tick annotation and I think it's dollar yeah uh, so I'm using the base URL okay and then I'm using and then I'm using uh, dash uh, slash notebooks oh okay and I can use the base URL in here so dollar this dot base URL feedback and we can already do we can already see some benefits now this base URL I use it in all of my request URLs if this changes I just make one change here and everything will just work also if we have to modify or add more URLs we have a single point where we do all these things so I don't have these requests scattered ac across my application because if I have 30 components uh, and each has to do some uh, you know HTTP requests and we change our base URL then we need to go in 30 classes and make modifications in each and any one of them versus if you do things this way we have already contained um, this process in here okay so uh, with this in place let's go to the notes component and you know let's start to actually write this code so this URL is going to be the all notes URL and okay we don't subscribe in here we just return this observable remember what I told you in the um, HTTP uh, episode that until we make un until we subscribe to uh, the HTTP client then nothing gets executed so by re returning HTTP get I'm just returning an observable and the component that uses it needs to subscribe to it in order to trigger the request and then that component needs to decide what to do with the data so here we are just returning observables we're not actually making the request and we have to do something similar in here so I can do this HTTP I think it's post and I have the send feedback URL and we also need to pass in the data which is the feedback view model okay cool so I have these two methods I have my service and now I think we're ready to use this service throughout our application and let's go to the notes component uh, I don't need a dependency on HTTP client I can simply have a dependency on API service of type API service okay and what I can do is I can say this API service dot get all notebooks and then to actually make the request I will call subscribe and then we have that we have the exactly the same flow as we did previously but we've delegated all the logic in the get all notebooks method now uh, similarly to this we can go so we can remove this I don't need URL logic in here now we can do the same thing for the feedback component we can go in here we can remove this dependency 
and just use our API service okay we can remove the URL we don't need it the logic is in the is in the API service this uh, API service and it's not post it's actually post feedback I don't need a URL anymore so I'm just passing in the model and now I'm leaving the logic exactly like it is so we're leaving the consumers the possibility to decide what to do with those responses we just wrap them around in a nice decoupled class okay so now that we have this I'm pretty curious about the outcome so I'm going to hit F12 we are going to refresh our browser and we can already see that we have the exact same response but now coming from the API service and now we can go to feedback we can write something in here you know an email and some funky text okay and we hit send and you can see that you know we sent a request the request was okay and now you know we reload the page so we have successfully managed to replace all the calls uh, and all the dependencies on the HTTP client with a dependency on our new API service and now we can reuse this throughout uh, our entire application and this is one way that you can use services to minimize the logic that you need to do in your views I mean don't understand that you use API services or services in Angular just to fetch data I mean if you have calculations if you have client-side logic if you have you know drawing libraries just go ahead and abuse these services I mean put all your logic in there make, make it testable and then using dependency injection provide those services to your components or other classes that need them so if you ask me from my experience I think the art of writing you know scalable and flexible anchor applications just sticks down to this you know put as much as you can in services cool uh, that's it for today I really hope that you enjoyed this episode and that you found it useful we've barely scratched the surface <laughs> about services but I hope that you have the basic knowledge that you need to use them in your angular projects because we will certainly use this service uh, in the upcoming uh, episodes before we close I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills just go to the Romanian coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button also if you found this video useful please hit the like button and share it with your friends if you have any comments thoughts or ideas for new courses just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at Romanian Coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.